Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of Gaffer and Gear. Today we're going to talk about one of the dangers of waterproof power outlets. So imagine you're working in an outdoor sports stadium or you're working at a showgrounds and there are uh, waterproof uh, outlets like these around and you're going to plug into one. Before you do, you should always make sure that the power is in the off position and do a visual inspection of the outlet before you open the lid. And here's why. At least 12 times in the 20 years that I've been a gaffer, I've come across this scenario where a power outlet is full of water. Now, the interesting thing to note with this outlet is when I close it, it fills with water again. So how does a waterproof outlet get water in it? Well, it's really quite straightforward. So this is a waterproof container. And as you can see, water doesn't get inside it. It's designed not to let water in. However, what happens if it gets damaged? Basically, the problem is if water gets inside it, the rest of the container being waterproof creates a bucket. Now, the most common reason that a waterproof outlet would have water in it is that it wasn't installed correctly in the first place. So when you're doing your visual inspection, check that the switch gear in the outlet are mounted to a waterproof enclosure. They're not mounted directly onto the wall. The other thing to check is where the power goes in. Make sure it's got a proper waterproof connection. It's not just a hole with silicon glue, for example. I'm Andrew Locke. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Gaffer and Gear and uh, see you on set. Take care.